Hi, I'm Sia, the Skin Philosopher. As mentioned, I will be discussing the topic today with you, melasma. What is melasma? What causes it? And can it be effectively treated long term? Well, the good news is, yes, it can. However, we do have to make sure that we tick a couple of boxes in order to be successful in achieving that long term result. Melasma is a hormonal form of pigmentation that is generally driven through pregnancy, even breastfeeding after pregnancy, the contraceptive pill, or sometimes even menopause. Melasma presents as a coffee staining in the skin that comes up in patches and is generally found mainly on the forehead, the cheekbones, and top lip. However, it can protrude down the cheeks as well. Now, melasma is a form of pigmentation that actually sits in the deeper layer of the very top layer of our skin. So it's also a pigmentation that unless you expose your skin to UV, that pigmentation doesn't actually surface. So it does get released in a deeper level, but UV exposure draws that pigmentation to the surface of the skin. So that's sometimes why a lot of women will say, well, the melasma is not so bad in winter, but in summer, obviously they see it a lot more. And that is the reason. However, there's certain treatments and lasers, uh, chemical peels that some people do, which I highly don't believe in, but there's so much you can do to remove the visible melasma that has been brought to the surface of the skin. But unless you treat it down here and break it down, it will keep resurfacing. So what we need to make sure the first thing is, is have you stopped manufacturing the pigment through your hormonal drive? Which means, are you still pregnant? Are you still breastfeeding? Are you still on the contraceptive pill? Once you're off those things, so if you stop the contraceptive pill or you're no longer pregnant anymore, then that drive of pigment has now stopped. And that pigment has just been deposited, but now has to be cleared away. And how do we do that? There's two ways. One is through top uh, treatments, like laser treatments that will remove that pigment from the surface so that it's not visible to the naked eye. But remember, that pigment is still deposited down here. Not everyone is a candidate, unfortunately, for laser treatments. So there are a couple of other treatments on the market that can assist with your darker skin types that can be safe in having that surface of that melasma pigment removed. Once that's removed, you may think, oh, it's gone. But again, unless you break it down underneath, it's going to resurface. So to be successful in removing that melasma, you have to break it down and clear it in this part of the skin. And that can only be done through topical serums that have the ability to penetrate into that layer of skin and will clear away that pigment for you. That's a longer process, anywhere from eight to 12 months. But once that pigment has been cleared away, it's gone. It won't resurface and that is how you can be successful in removing melasma so if you've been stuck in a situation where you've possibly gone to get your melasma removed by a dermatologist by a beauty therapist and it's returned that's because you've probably gone down the path of treatments like chemical peels which unfortunately make you photosensitive which then makes you more sensitive to UV which then makes you more prone to drawing that melasma to the surface uh, or treatments where on the surface it looks like it's been removed but of course it hasn't been broken down underneath and that's why it's important when you do go to a skincare professional that they use a skin analysis machine so they can actually monitor underneath in that deep deeper layers of that top layer they can actually see is that pigment still deposited there and they can manage it and watch your progress as you go to make sure that that pigment has been completely broken down and cleared away I hope you have found this information um, to be useful. And if you do have any questions, please comment below. Or if you have any extra questions you'd like to ask, please feel free to do so and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you.